know what today is? Cousin cooking challenge. We're the best yeah. Yeah. Winning team. Okay, well you guys got four hours. Better get to it. winning team they came in really confident uh, because they were very well prepared but now they are not feeling confident as anymore the other team has gained some confidence so only the judges will decide so our noki is not really noki anymore it's a mash of potatoes i don't think we did it right yeah, I don't know what we did wrong. I did not feel good about anything we just made. Almost 100% sure we lost. Just gonna say it. Nothing went as planned except the fish. And that's important. Oh no. The dessert kind of worked. The macaroons, but they couldn't come off, so they're all weirdly shaped and stuff. And, so. and then we messed up the gnocchi horribly. That was the thing like we worked by far the hardest on. So, yeah, I feel terrible. We could try to saute it, or we could try to boil more. Round two, right? Yeah, we're gonna try to saute them instead. I think it's gonna Round work. Two. <laughs> that looks much better. Yeah. It's getting golden brown. Yeah. It's nice. What are you working on? Um, so we our avocados are not ripe enough, so we're changing the recipe. We're using, we're making a Brazil Brazilian lemonade. So the challenge, I mean, it started off to a good start, but like now it's kind of, kind of going down the drain. But like, uh, we're like changing up our plans a little bit, trying to make like instead of like an avocado shake, we're doing like a lemonade. I think we might do that, and then so like, yeah, I'm I'm a little bit confident, but like I, I know we're not. We're probably not gonna win, so just, yeah. Okay, we have like four or three minutes left. We have all of our food plated, super nice, and the other team has nothing. I feel great about this because uh, we've only had like two mistakes, and it's been um, spilling the dessert, which was really easy to fix, and then having the ice cream maker not work, but we just put it in the freezer. And then they've had a lot of mistakes, like their Noki not working, their like cool stuff, the like, I don't know what it's called, but. And then we made sushi and I tasted it and it's super good. And the ribs look amazing. And I'm hoping that they'll like it. So I'm super happy. give them an extra 10 minutes because they have to work downstairs. That was kind of disadvantage for them. So they will get some extra time so oh, they can play and finish up. Oh, beautiful. I am more confident now, I think. I think our like meals turned out really good and our like presentation looks really good. And we, um, we made like fancy garnishes and stuff. So I think it all turned out really good and it looks really good. Look at the color of this, it's like gorgeous, it's like honey. Last oh, is way job, better Sam. than this thing, yeah. Ooh. See, that's how you're supposed to do it, James. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's about the drizzle. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> good second take. Yeah. <laughs> that's a beautiful <laughs> second take. That's so good. It's that's so perfect pretty. color. Look how good those work together. It's beautiful. The is that purple. how you're plating it? Yeah, but the purple with the gold. Wait, you guys are still using avocados? You yeah. have to use it. Or else we'll get the top of Oh, so everyone it. has to use avocado? Bowls do you yeah. Okay, the winning team, you need to be plating your stuff. Our judges have arrived. The judges are grandparents and 
and parents of the kids. And we have all decided to be very unbiased here. These will be honest votes. You know who you're voting for? Yeah, Sam. Oh. <laughs> Guys, your presentation through. Oh, what are you doing with the fish? So we're gonna uncrust it and then like put on the platter over there and then we'll serve it. How do you uncrust it? Just peel pull it off. Wait, the judges have to okay. see the peeling. So the fish is coming up. We're revealing the fish. That's Okay, so the best little chefs, what have you made for us today? Um, I made my like beef sandwiches kind of with beef patties and some mashed potatoes inside. We did the main course, so. Yeah, we grilled the ribs. So they marinated for about, an hour. I would say an hour. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then we made some sauce, that's right there. We put some dry rub on them and then probably grilled them for like 30 minutes, so. Beautiful. And, then right. and the presentation is really yeah. special. That was all quiet, yeah. Yeah. And then the little cucumber flowers that the jar made. I made the sushi. Um, took a while, but at the end, Jake helped me roll them all up. So we have these two plates full of them. And then this is a strawberry pina colada with decorations. I made oatmeal cookie bars. And I sprinkled a little bit of powdered sugar on them too. And I also made homemade ice cream, but that didn't work. So. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the winning team. What did you guys make for everybody today? So we got tilapia and we got papaya salad, but we couldn't afford papaya, so we did coleslaw instead. And we got macarons with the uh, sugar cages. This is nochi with a mushroom and chicken and cheese sauce, and that is Brazilian lemonade. All right. Good work. You guys are going to head downstairs. Your judges will taste the food and let you know who won. We are judging on taste, creativity, and presentation for each single item. They also had key ingredients that they were supposed to use. It's a long list. Um, so we won't tell you that, but um, you'll, uh, you'll hear if they didn't quite use a key ingredient well. We are starting with drinks, strawberry colada, and then we've got a Brazilian lemonade. Okay. Colada. Colada? Strawberry colada. Well, that's good. I don't love pina colada, but... That strawberry colada is really good. That, that's really good. Now I want to taste team two at mm. the same time so that I'm that's weird. I'm kind of yeah. comparing it. That's good. Alright, team one ribs. Let's pass okay, those around. So you split that one. Okay. Pass the sauce. Great flavor. Yeah. Can you pass the sauce? I'm going to make Daniel make this for me. Hey, what? Taste. Mm. Wow, those are really good. I don't think they're too tough. Yeah, those ribs are really good. Wow, that's got flavor. Uh, Dad, here's the head for you. I know you love eyeballs. <laughs> Claudia. The herb flavor really comes through and it's also moist <laughs> and the fish taste has been quite well hidden. Very nice. Oh. These are much tastier than most ribs. They are really good. Excellent. Right the thing that's so good about the fish is that it's very tender. 
Joe, can you grab some and flavor? The bottom, the presentation. Yeah, the presentation yeah. yeah, no, no, down. Yeah, down at that. Because that's where all the herbs were. That's what oh, you I usually don't love fish. But it's got a really good flavor. Really it's not too fishy. <clears throat> Very <throat> tender. And moist. Thank you. Very moist. Mm. That's amazing. <laughs> wow. The right on the bottom tastes much better than the middle. Like the bottom just has a lot more flavor to it, all mm. those things. Whereas in the middle, it was kind of just like any other fish. So that's where all the, the lemon and the herbs and stuff are, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that flavor is way better at the bottom. Holy oh, moly. Yeah, yeah I did. Garlic, Good call, salt, Steve. lemon. Wow. Yeah, that is yeah. Yep. really good. Okay, now we've got the gnocchi and yeah, the burgers. It's just really tasty. Oh, wow. Okay. Like, that really is really like flavorful. Mm. The meat and the gravy. The gravy's a little, um, you know? like, did you? Jelly, 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 jelly but it was no, it gravy? wasn't like that when it was warm. Right what do you think of the burgers? Really good flavor. They're, I don't know if I tasted the uh, potatoes, mashed potatoes in there much, but they're all girly. the flavor together. Was I think really the good. garlic of the mashed potatoes made the burger taste better. Okay, so maybe that's what I tasted. Mm -hmm. It was really and delicious gravy. flavor. What? Not a lot of flavor I there. thought the last one was. Oh. But yeah, the note cheese itself is bland. Yeah, just I think I just had note cheese. Yeah, note cheese itself is bland. You need the mushroom yeah. and the meat. The meat was definitely more flavorful there. <laughs> it's oh, got potential. Okay, we're on to the sushi yeah, and the papaya this. salad. The kids papaya love making this. Salad. They have. The sushi is delicious. Yeah, it really is. Both kinds, the white fish and the spicy tuna. Great job. That's delicious. They took real pride in it too. They Mm -hmm. Machine up and roll it up and mm -hmm. slice it. Papaya salad spicy. Big deal. What did you say about the salad, Steve? Good to see you. Uh, it tastes great. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It had a little kick to it. It's so good. Yeah, it's got a kick. I love it. It doesn't taste like what papaya salad's supposed to taste like. Down here. But it's still like it, it needs more sweetness, but it's still good. So, Glenn, what did you think about the salad? Gross. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. It was so Did good. Did you really? Yeah, it's got such a good flavor. This All right, last category. We got cookies. dessert now. Okay, what? You earned your dessert. Desserts usually are pretty tasty, aren't they? <laughs> How is it? That's yeah, really good. Yeah, that's good. It's got kind of a uh, darker. Dark chocolate? Like, you know, a burnt taste to it in a, like a really tasty way. Mm -hmm. I love it. They were supposed to have a vanilla ice cream with this. So oh. uh, perhaps the vanilla could have offset the rich flavor, but maybe it doesn't need it. No, it doesn't need it, but ice it would, cream would have been fantastic. It would have been enhanced it. Yes. With it. Enhance is the right word. It would have enhanced it, but it's really good all the I'd want to dip it in milk and ice cream. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was good. The shimmer of the shine on top is cool. It's so fancy. Is so pretty. And notice they all have little feet. That is the whole, what you determine if it's a good macaron. Uh, feet? Yeah, where it comes out right here. Oh, really? So yeah. They have oh. feet that you've done a good hey. macaron. Those feet, two huh? pieces are yours. Those are well, well done. That's not an easy dessert to make. All right, take your macaron. Oh wow! Don't you like crazy? I don't yeah, love macaroons. Very well this is a very good. But these are really good. Yeah. Very, like, it, it has the right texture and everything. Texture is very it's chewy. Chewy is better than most macaroons. Creamy. Yes, yeah. the chewy. And and is it almond? This yeah. feels like it oh, earns bonus that points. Really well done. Yeah, that was incredible. But that's a very hard dessert to make. Everything about that one. Wow. We're figuring up the final scores and then we will invite the groups up. We'll decide which category each group won and then the overall winner. How do you like the purple thing? Is it yeah. super tasty? Yeah. Mmm. Scores are locked and loaded. Okay, we'll let you guys eat and then we'll tell you the scores. What? I'm just gonna eat everything because I am so insanely hungry.
What do you guys like the best? Sushi. The sushi? I like the macaroons yeah. the best. The mm. macaroons so are amazing, good. aren't they? The gnocchi is pretty good, too. Yeah? yeah. Our food's way better than I thought. I thought it wouldn't be very good, but it was good. Very good. Yeah, the gnocchi actually turned out pretty good. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. a good fish. All right, we're gathering the judges. The kids have tried the food. Our scoring is all done. Now we're going to find out who wins. First, I have to say this has been a fantastic cousin cooking challenge. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 We had some fantastic cooks here, as well as fantastic judges from all around the world. And uh, with some of the finest tastes you'll find. So we have our scores tallied up, and this was a challenge. Uh, they were good. They tasted fantastic. You guys did awesome. We're gonna go through each item and keep the suspense up so that you know who wins. We are doing judging on creativity, taste, and presentation. For the drink, team one, the best little chefs won. That had a near perfect score, by the way. And so the strawberry colada was so good. It was. And the second one was also delicious. But team one won that one. Judges, what do you think team one was the winner of the drink? It looked beautiful. The taste was super. Just really refreshing. Very flavorful and very appealing <laughs> to the taste. <laughs> and they had all of their cups like dipped in sugar up on the sugar line to the little pineapple on top but just the best tasting strawberry colada ever yeah the presentation was fantastic the flavor was fantastic okay the meat this was the ribs and the fish that was won by the winning team right the winning team won that one <laughs> Woo! Woo! that also got a few perfect scores on it judges what did you like about the fish the, the flavor, amazing, especially where all of the spices and herbs and everything were with on the fish. It had such a flavor. Like most of us, I don't think like fish very much, but this one just tastes so good. Yeah, it's very moist and very flavorful. Delicious. The, the fish was super moist. The flavor was so good. Um, it didn't taste fishy at all, like at all. Um, it was it. This one definitely got a perfect score for most of us. The whole coating of the salt and having to break it all off that was creative. Yeah, that yeah. presentation, just the whole experience was so fun to have a crack open, just like you said, and just so moist and flavorful. It's fantastic. It was, it was definitely a five star fish. Good job, guys. Okay, appetizer. The appetizers were the hamburger sandwich and the gnocchi. Okay. Between those. That was the best little chefs. Yeah. The best little chefs. Good job, Jake. Why did you choose the, the hamburger over the gnocchi? Very creative. I haven't seen a hamburger kind of almost flipped upside down. Yeah, and it was a presentation factory as well because of that. Yeah, the presentation was fantastic. I thought I was eating waffles. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and the mashed potatoes actually really made the hamburger taste super good. Like there's garlic in the mashed potatoes that made the hamburger taste even better. So it like all enhanced each other. And it looked yeah. beautiful. <laughs> good job, Joe. It actually tasted way better than I expected. So the gnocchi was just lacking a little bit of flavor. Like if we had the gnocchi by itself, kind of lost some flavor. The sauce was good. The sauce was, the sauce was really good. I love it. Next, salad or sushi. That was the best little chefs. So that was the, which one was the sushi. The sushi. The sushi was the best I've ever eaten. I don't like sushi. Yeah. I loved watching them make the sushi and they took great pride in rolling it up and cutting it with the special slicer. Uh, they had a lot of fun with it. I think they're sushi cooks now. I also am not a super big fan of sushi, and that was delicious sushi. Yeah, it so. was fantastic. The presentation of the sushi was great. 
um, just how it was all stacked really nice. And I love sushi and this <laughs> tasted great. And there was a lot of it. Uh, so we can have all the And the wanted. cucumber flowers. Uh -huh. Oh, they were beautiful. Yeah, those right. beautiful. And the ginger pieces on it. Oh man, it tastes so good. Yeah. Back to the meats. By the way, both of those were beautiful displays on there. Yes. Uh, the veggies underneath, especially the ribs had such great color. We brought the orange and the green in there. Uh, that was awesome part of the presentation. Okay. This is the final uh, of the categories, the different foods. This was dessert. This was the chocolate chip. What would you call it? Oatmeal. Oatmeal bars and Oatmeal macaroons. Bars and macaroons. And the winner of that was the winning team. Yeah. That was also almost a perfect score. Was that a perfect score that or was almost? The, that was almost perfect score. It, on creativity that was presentation, amazing. Was what did you think about the macaroons? The presentation, especially, it was so elegant with the macaroon inside of that gold uh, little bowl. And yeah, my thought it was beautiful. Yeah. It should go on in a magazine. <laughs> You know, I'm cooking channel. <laughs> when I buy a macaroon for a big price, I'm usually disappointed. Right? The taste doesn't amount to much, and it, it's gone rather quickly. Uh, but this had such a nice flavor to it. It was moist and sweet. Yeah. Avery explained to me that it was the almond in there. Almond flavor. Mm -hmm. That almond flour. I don't like macaroons. I think they're nasty. <laughs> These were so good and they were chewy. Like just how you want the macaroons to be, they were chewy. Like they were definitely professional quality. Like you could absolutely sell those and have them be favorites. So. I, I think you should open up a shop and, and make macaroons. They were so good. They were, they were amazing. You they guys did amazing. amazing. And the presentation of that was I'm surprised it wasn't fives across the board yep. for all of us. Uh, they were amazing. So we've got a creativity, the top scores, taste and presentation. We've added all of those up. And between the two teams on creativity, team two was the most creative. Who is? The winning, the winning, the winning team. team. The winning team. Taste, the team that won on that, when we added all those up, was the best little chefs. Presentation was the best little chefs. Yeah. Woo! Woo! So the overall oh, winner gosh, yes. that up was the best little chefs. Woo! Woo! Do your victory dance! Woo! It was 439 to 424. 15 points difference when you're in 400s. That's pretty good. That is not very far apart. You guys are really close to each other. So it was really close in every, really close. every week. It was amazing food, guys. Yeah. Was Congratulations. Was I have sat and watched. I was so impressed that everyone had their task and you were taking care of it. You had some help occasionally, but you really took charge of what your assignment was. Yeah. And Great cooperation, delegation. And if you think about a group of cousins cooking together, I guarantee you wouldn't find another group or very few groups that could cook like that. Like it was unbelievable. Yes. Like every one of those I would yeah, be happy was, to eat again. I was yes. at a Zoom meeting saying, please don't mind the, the sound in the background because the cousins are having a cook-off. And they're like, what? <laughs> the cousins are these. <laughs> they did all of this themselves. Yeah. yeah. The shopping like, and everything this time. Planning. Behind the scenes. A lot of planning. You should see right. the text stream. It's well, probably yeah, 100 pages long, maybe. Sam was awesome. Yep. Earlier, we would have had to be on the <laughs> telephone <laughs> calling each person individually. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even a group call. And they would have had to go out in the field. Yeah, that would have been easier. 